chance for some severe weather today as well. It is a marginal threat. But most of our warnings yesterday were down in western Kentucky. That's uh, not going to be the case today. We have that severe threat for everywhere today. Now, I'm not going to say we are going to see severe weather today, but all the tri-state is under a marginal. We had that slight risk down in western Kentucky yesterday. That's a step up above a marginal. Now it's all just marginal. The threats for any storm today will be the damaging wind and some large hail associated with that as well. Now we are getting a little bit of a break here in parts of the tri-state, but more is already on the way moving in from the south and west. And we have a pretty hefty rain shower and some thunder across much of the tri-state too here and there. Nothing too hefty uh, right here in our studio in Henderson, but when we get close to Evansville, getting a pretty good downfall of rain in Evansville right now. Same thing for Seabury. This is now pushing into McLean County. And there's nothing severe right now. This is just a general, regular, everyday thunder shower. But down in Madisonville, uh, kind of gave you a warning about 10 minutes ago that there's going to be a, some thunder and heavy rain moving your way. I'm going to give you about now a five-minute warning that that's moving into your area as this is moving up to the north and east. There's the newest lightning bolt that just came in there. Uh, from our lightning detector as well. And even up here, right along the Gibson County line, Wabash Edwards line, check out all the rain that's going on in this direction now. And it could actually be raining in this area right here that you can see uh, does not show any rain. It's just so close to the radar site, the radar can't detect it. You can see that right there is when the radar beam begins to detect uh, the rain showers. So there could be a little bit of rain going on in much of Gibson County right now and uh, heavy at times as well. And that's going to be putting down a good bit of rain in a small amount of time. Heads Construction Tower camera, you can see in here in Henderson, it is wet right now. Not too much rain falling at this time, but nonetheless, uh, we're going to have some more on the way for later this morning and into this afternoon. 70 is the current temperature right now in Evansville. A east wind at 11 miles per hour. It'll be a little breezy today, especially if one of these thunder showers comes over you. Those will put out a pretty uh, good, amount of, a good amount of wind in a short period of time. 70 Lagodi, Jasper Tell City right now. Our warmest spot, Madisonville at 72, but I expect that to drop because, again, we got that thunder shower just about to push into Madisonville right now. Plenty of cal uh, cloud coverage, as you can see, because of all these showers and thunder showers. But look off to our west. You can see there is a little bit of clearing out in this direction. And I do expect for that to be in our area by later on this afternoon and early evening. So I do expect sunshine today. If you kind of recall these past several days, it'll be cloudy for a while, and it'll rain a good bit for a while. Then it'll kind of stop and the sun will come out for a little bit. And then here comes that next wave into our area. So Future Tracker shows the showers and thunder showers with us right now. A little bit of a lull in activity later this afternoon. But I still expect that some of us are still going to be getting wet this afternoon and early evening. Just not as much as we're seeing right now. And even the sunshine coming out, as you can see here on our Future Tracker. Now, Future Tracker differs uh, on this situation right there than another model does. And they're both really good models. And they're both high resolution models. So it's a good question right now as to which one's going to play out. They both do develop a cluster of storms just outside the St. Louis area. But the North American model really fizzles that system out and doesn't even get into the tri-state. And if it could, it expand and just get bigger as it works its way here. That's what Future Tracker is doing. It keeps it going. It doesn't have it fizzling out at all. And this is later in tonight into the overnight hours, getting close to midnight and 1 o'clock coming through the tri-state. So this will be something we'll have to see what the future models uh, begin to do with it and update it again to see is it going to hold together or will it fizzle out overnight tonight. So Wayne, of course, will be tracking that for you uh, first thing at first at 4 for tonight. Tomorrow morning doesn't look to be as wet for much of the tri-state, but I do expect showers and thunder showers to develop by tomorrow morning, later in the morning, and then another lull in the activity by the afternoon and more sunshine coming out for tomorrow afternoon as well. And we may even see another round of storms tomorrow night as well. So clouds mixing with some sun today. Highs will be in the mid to upper 80s and mid to upper 80s tomorrow as well before the 90s make a return uh, starting on Wednesday. Rain chances greatly diminished starting Thursday, but the temperatures continue to rise and the humidity continues to stay up as well. So we are going to be wet today from the rain falling on us, and then we're going to be wet later this week because we're going to be sweating it out so much. So I find a way to stay cool on, let's see, today is National uh, Please Take My Kids to Work Day. I don't have any kids, so... <laughs> I'm so going does that mean like you're asking other people, please take my kids to work with you? Uh, yeah, it's also National Cruise Fair Day, Strawberry Parfait Day. Ooh, I like strawberries. It's, Joe, it's also Catfish Day. Catfish. You like catfish? 
Oh, I love catfish. Good. You're from Tennessee. You should. <laughs> oh, catfish fries, buddy. Yeah, I'm, I'm a big fan of fried catfish, too. <laughs> so we'll have to eat that here at 645 in the morning. It, it, it,